Uh, so, um, so I've been riding around a fair bit lately, you know, just getting from A to B, just using it as transport. And uh, I've got to admit, as a cyclist now, I don't judge other cyclists on the bikes that they're riding. I sincerely couldn't care less. But I realise I do judge people on the equipment they're wearing while they're riding. You know, like if I see someone, I'm all for safety, but when you see someone, you know, with the helmet on, they've got the, the, the cross fluoro vest, the little ankle fluoro bracelets, the orange flag out the back, I'm like, shit, what do you think, you're lost at sea? What's going on? <laughs> but if I see someone riding along in construction high-vis, I'm like, lost your licence, drink driving. <laughs> all right. I, uh, I got two kids now, ladies and gentlemen. I just uh, reached out my second. That was half-assed. And I, uh, <laughs> to be honest, it's great. I love my daughters. I do love my newborn. Oh, I love her so much. She's so great. How's this, ladies and gentlemen? She turned up on the due date. <laughs> First KPI in her life and just bang between the crosshairs. <laughs> so proud of her, so proud of her. Like, I was recently talking to this woman at a party. She was waxing lyrical about her daughter. She's in high school, but, you know, she's reading at a university level, which is great. Uh, she's got high IQ, high EQ. Yeah. She's probably going to be a future prime minister. Whatever. <laughs> I'm so proud of my newborn, I know she's already going to be better than the prime minister. Because as opposed to all the prime ministers of the last 10 years, she actually went a full term. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's not a political joke either, ladies and gentlemen. It's not. It's not anti-liberal, but it is pro-labour. So... <laughs> it's really twist. I, I live in Brunswick in Melbourne, OK? And that's where I live. Uh, it's a very alternative suburb. Ideally love it. It's great. Uh, this is true, actually. I was just performing over at the Adelaide Fringe Festival. Whatever. No biggie. And uh, this made me love Adelaide so much more, because I was talking to my audience, just saying, oh, I live in the alternative part of Melbourne. And I said, oh, what's the alternative part of Adelaide? And then there was a beat, and this guy from the back of the crowd goes, Melbourne. <laughs> what, you want some quinoa? Yeah, turn left, go 800 k's and fuck off. <laughs> it's incredible. But this is the thing, it's a very alternative suburb, so all the kids, right, they're alternative because their parents are, and you can clock them. It's great. They've all got vegan leather shoes and, you know, you have those stinted conversations where you're like, oh, do you like the wiggles? And they're like, I'm not allowed screen time. When I do, I have to watch Four Corners. You're like, oh. <laughs> oh, well, this is fun. Strap in for foreign correspondent. This is good. Um, and I was at the park with my, uh, with my two-year-old. And she just befriended this boy. Right? He was about the same age. He had a little ball. They were kicking it around. And rule of thumb is two-year-olds have zero coordination. Zero. But this little boy, right, big hands, big feet. And, uh, and he was just kicking the ball around, catching it. It was unbelievable, right? And I just said offhand, I'm going, oh, have a look at this little unit. He's going to grow up to be a gun footballer. And his mum, who I just met at the park, stopped dead in her tracks and said, well, I hope not, because I hate football and I hate its culture. I was like, oh, my God. How alternative is this suburb where that kid will have to come out as a footballer to his parents? <laughs> He'll come home one night. 16, you know, you have dirt on his shirt, and she'll be like, Jamathan, how'd you get that? <laughs> and finally the floodgates will burst. He's like, I've been living a lie. <laughs> I wasn't at woodwind class after school, OK? I've been playing footy. I love it. It's just me. Love me for who I am. <laughs> Look, and I know you raised me as gay, but I think I'm straight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and I think I want to get vaccinated. You know, it's a... <laughs> Hard conversation to have. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much.